gifts. Up next, King. Shit. Don't play that. We don't play that. do the, the spike one <laughs> anyways you guys get the point what's going on guys it's your boy alec aka python dom back with another video in today's video boys super fun easy quick diy on how to put a playstation 2 in your bmw 46 <laughs> let's get into it all right, boys, so to get started with this job, there's gonna be three most important parts of the job you're gonna need. I'll go over them now. One obviously being any Android head unit that you can find on the market right now. These Android head units will have a harness on the back of them, a wiring harness, um, specifically for audio, video in and out, or audio, video in. Um, this head unit has it, um, but here I can actually open this tab and look for audio, video in. I just changed the symbol to look like a PlayStation, so it just looks more more legit you can see there so that's uh obviously the main component um well one of the three obviously a playstation in this case a slim it's the only one that's going to fit in here and then the last piece is uh going to be a 12 volt inverter so you can power the playstation 2 with it and that's it for the main three components to get this job done and then for the tools you're going to need just these guys right here drill of some sort these i picked up at harbor freight um, some step bits. I took this big one and I took it all the way to one and three eighth inches. A pry tool and a screwdriver. With that, that's all you're going to need to get this whole project done. So let's get into the car and I'll show you guys what we got to do. So you're actually just going to start off by taking out the glove box. You have uh, three screws up here. One, two, three. Um, you have this pin back here that you just need to pry out with your finger. I don't know if you can get, kind of see it. That clips in this arm to it. And there's another one on this side. It's super easy. It's like a little plastic pin. You can barely see it there, guys. But that little plastic pin, you just you just pull it out this way on both sides and it'll allow this whole thing to drop completely. It'll just open up like this. But you got three screws in here, two more in the very back, which are shorter. Yeah, they're back here. So you're going to have longer guy here, shorter one back there. Same thing, longer guy here, shorter one back there. Another screw here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that one already, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward guys. Just literally take out the glove box, do all the screws all around it and literally grab it and yank on it, pull it out. Then you're going to want to drill a hole right there in the back using that step drill. So you can feed your lines through the back into the dash. And I'll show you what that's going to look like. Now, after you've taken your glove box out and you've drilled that hole, we just need to get those wires uh, fished through to uh, behind this screen here. So on it just like that this piece here is literally just very loose in here because i just just removed it but just tilt up like this and slide out then you're gonna have two screws here if you put your doubled in in you'll know what these screws are they're right here under the ac vents you just want to pull those out and you'll have access to the screen so i'm going to do that now to show you guys just grab it just like that and like all those cables you got back there damn that baby's hot so here I'm just going to grab this and try to pull it out of the way for you guys. And you'll see in this crazy set of wires here, I have a power inverter. This one's got like a little fan in it and stuff, but there you go. You guys have all seen these. 
I'll put the link down below for this one. I got it on Amazon, pretty cheap. Um, nice body, it's all made of metal and stuff, but that's what I'm using to power the, the PS2. I took it from the 12 volt socket that was down here, which is very easy as well, guys. If you wanna get access to this, you might not have this panel. This is an aftermarket panel. Um, when you relocate the AC unit down to the bottom after installing an Android, you might have here a uh, ashtray or like a coin storage cover but I think all the cars do still have a 12 volt. So you wanna be able to push that 12 volt uh, power socket out through the back and then funnel it back up through behind these, these things. It's very easy if you guys have ever done it, you can literally squeeze this guy right here, pull up on it. You'll see two screws there. I don't know if there's another two here, I can't remember. No, I think these two will hold on this cover and there'll be another two in the front that holds on this cover. And then you can actually pull up on this whole cover here, pull up on it, and then you'll have access to the back side of it to be able to remove that uh, 12 volt socket and stuff. But yeah, super easy, super easy to get to. I'm gonna push this back in real quick. Um, and then just feed it up through here. And then you'll see actually, this is what I'm referring to right now. So there it is, the 12 volt itself from the, the uh, inverter into the factory kind of socket. And I just tucked it all back there. So after you have the inverter plugged in and tucked away, you just want to get a really bright LED light and shine it up into here, into these, this well here. And it'll shine through and show you the gaps in the plastic to where you can route your cabling. So these two cables right here are both the power and um, RCA cables for the PlayStation. So you could just stick your hand up here, follow the light, you'll see the light through the hole, but stick your hand up here, feed the cables to your other hand and just grab them and fish them through, and that's it. In the back side here, you'll see I have those RCA cables plugged in right here. Looks like a mess, but honestly guys, this is kind of how these, these uh, head units are. There's always a ton of wires back here. But, uh, but yeah, that's really it guys. So, hope it was a fun little video I got you guys. <laughs> PlayStation 2 and the BMW 46, who would have known? But uh, I thought it was a fun little uh, party trick I was going to try out. I grew up with a lot of uh, Pimp My Ride and Need for Speed and stuff, so I figured, you know, why not? See if I can do it. So it's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy. Um, will I end up keeping it in the BMW? Probably not, to be honest, but who knows? Me and my buddies take trips to the other coast often, so maybe I will. We're on our drive. They could be playing while I'm driving or something. So hope you guys liked the video. Just wanted to throw this uh, fun little one for you guys. And um, yeah, still working on that turbo project. So let's keep going, guys. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.